Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled, Wait on God. Wait on God. I want to read from Psalms 27 and verse 4. It says, Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. You know, when we become impatient and react without thinking, we can do damage to ourselves and to others as well. Sometimes when we pray and God doesn't respond quickly though enough, we decide to take things or matters into our own hands and things get worse as a result. When God tells you and I to wait, He is actually saying, trust me with the timing, with the ways and the means and you will get a better result. That's why He asks you and I, to wait. David wrote in verses 13 and 14 of Psalms 27, he says, I remain confident to this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Amen. So it can be tough to wait on the Lord. It's much easier in the heat of a moment to lose your calm and my calm. But stop and look back. How did the hasty and prayerless decisions you made in the past turn out to be? Do you think this situation will be different if you respond, react quickly without thinking and praying? Not a chance. It remains the same. What do you want? Temporarily relief or a permanent solution? Hate makes ways. When you act in haste, you do things you end up regretting and having to apologize for, of or worse, or worse, justifying for our action. Impulsiveness. God King Saul into serious trouble in the Old Testament. Instead of waiting for the prophet Samuel to arrive and the priest to offer a peace offering to ensuring their victory over the Philistines, Paul or Saul grew impatient and usurped the roles of the priest and offered the sacrifice himself. So when prophet Samuel arrived, and asked him, why? King Saul replied, I felt compelled in 1 Samuel 13 verse 12. And he and the result, Samuel said to Saul, you have acted foolishly. Now your kingdom shall not continue in 1 Samuel 13 verses 13 and 14. So, whatever decision you make in your life, major decision, wait on God. Amen? And don't rush into things or any major decision in life until you consulted with God and He come true for you and for your situation. Amen? And you will not regret the time for waiting. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless everyone with a great day. Bless us as we learn to wait upon you. Help us to keep calm and cool as we learn to wait and not rush into decision making when it involves our whole life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.